Hi, this is John Frana from Collegial Marine with our FAQ Friday question. This week we want to talk about spreader ends. Um, I've been doing this for 12 years now and when I first started I, I kind of anticipated that spreader ends might be a problem. Um, and they, it turns out they haven't been that much of an issue. A lot of spreader ends can be modified. Uh, if you have you know, half inch to three quarters of an inch or, or more section on your spreader end, you can uh, modify it with a Dremel tool, get rid of all the sharp edges, maybe put a little bit of a, a angle on the top of it. Um, and then more importantly, wrap the, the Dyneema with some rig tape to stiffen it up as it goes over the spreader end and, and cover it for UV. Uh, we still recommend that you use boots on the spreader ends for, for UV also, but, uh, but the rig tape, tape stiffens up the, the Dyneema over that, uh, that critical bending area. So, uh, but you know, there's still a lot of situations where we uh, need to replace the, the spreader ends, and we've developed quite a library of, of different types of spreader ends. Um, these, these are some small ones, you know, for up to nine millimeter. Um, this actually went on a, uh, a spreader end that was designed for discontinuous rigging with a uh, four aft bolt that goes through this and then you have a nice slot for the Dyneema um, and then holes for the lashing line to hold the Dyneema on. And there's, there's uh, examples on the website uh, on how, just how to lash the Dyneema on to make it secure so the spreader can't move. Um, here's another one that's designed for a, a stainless plate. This slides onto the plate. There's a set screw that you tighten down and now you have a nice slot for the Dyneema and again, lashing line holes. Um, some bigger boats, uh, recently we did an isomat spreader end and now we've got a library of isomat spreaders. But what we did initially for that is we sent them a 3D printed version of, of what I designed for this. Um, three slot holes, um, lashing line holes, and then um, the, the contoured piece that slides into the spreader. This was what we wanted to make sure fit. So we 3D printed this for them, sent them this part, and they actually checked this to make sure that the, uh, the section we designed was correct. And uh, voila, here's the aluminum pieces for it. You know, hollowed out to save some weight. This just slides into the end of the spreader, the three slots and the lashing holes to, to lash on the line. Here's a two-line version and the upper spreader single-line version again with lashing holes. Um, nice, you know, elegant way of, of doing spreader ends. And we do those all the time. Um, there, there's other versions here. Um, pictures of those are on the website, but the spreader ends, um, like I said before, just aren't as much of a problem as I anticipated, um, luckily. And uh, we've got lots of solutions and we're, you know, we've got, probably more importantly, we've got a process in line to, uh, to look at whatever new challenges for spreader ends are out there and, and address those pretty quickly. So um, we, can, uh, we can handle those at Caligo and uh, just bring your challenges to us and we can get your rigging on. Uh, so that's our FAQ Friday uh, for today, and uh, this is John Franta from Caligo Marine again, and thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. Have a good weekend.